Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, and we're back with another edition of Between the Lines. Today we're going to take a look at one of the most exciting new acquisitions of 2012, New England attacker Sire Sen. The big Frenchman came in with some pretty good bona fides, being part of Bayern Munich's setup for a long time, but at age 25 was pretty much an unknown. He looked like a number nine when you just saw him, big, strong, athletic, but when he got out there, he played a little bit like a, an 11, like an 8, all over the field. And for a while, it looked like New England's players were just as confused as the rest of us. As the season has gone on, the Revs have become much, much more comfortable around him, and he's really blossomed. He has six goals and two assists now, could have a few more if the Revs are a little sharper finishing, but what they've done is just become comfortable in holding their own roles. Very sound, very fundamental, giving him the space and license to roam and create all over the pitch. We've seen him sending in balls from the left touch line. We've seen him picking the ball up on the right touch line, dribbling at defenders, creating, combining. We've seen him dropping deep into midfield to pick stuff up, deeper than even like Shalry Joseph or Clyde Sims, nominally the two defensive midfielders that New England have been playing than creating something on the run or, or spreading passes. We've seen him crashing the near post, scoring pure striker's goal. We've seen him getting to the back post, slipping between defenders. We saw him score a great goal against Vancouver, holding off Elan Rashad, then turning perfect fundamentals and going to the back post. Zen is, for lack of a better description, a nine and a half. You don't know where he's going to show up on the pitch. And that's what makes him so, so hard to defend against. And of course, it's not just his own stat line that's been the beneficiary of his skill and movement. It's been the other guys on the team. Blake Brett Schneider has really come into his own. Benny Failhaber hasn't put up big numbers, but he's played really, really well on both sides of the ball. And as the season goes on, and as they become more and more used to Sen's movement, and he becomes more and more used to them, and everybody keeps doing the sound fundamental things that we've seen the past few weeks, New England's attack has a potential to become more and more potent. He's really turned into a major weapon already, and the season's only a third done, and they're still just learning each other's tendencies. That's all from us for this week. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget to tune in next Wednesday for another edition of Between the Lines.